Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness, the Panem Let's Play. And everyone, as you guys know, we had a special episode last time where we actually took on the British and won. Yep. The little state over here, Panem, probably not widely spoken of by the other great nations, probably not even on the radar of important things to look at, somehow win against the Great British and won. That was awesome. Um, yeah, that was just awesome. I mean, there's really nothing else to say about it. We gained, and I know I did lose a war against Persia, and they did get to claim back their iron deposits. But honestly, I consider this region much more important, because that's more centralized to what is India. And that's more centralized to what we want. And honestly, we gained about maybe 10 million people out of that. Our uh, total population is now 41.97 million. That's important, guys. That's a population that could totally rise to great power in this. And that's not even the fool of India. We could still keep conquering more. And I have to keep conquering more. So, from now on, everyone, we are now going on a straight... Because I want... It's now time to start... Ah! Maximum Overplan. The final plan of... Or the final map mode that I've had up all this time. Which has been the dream of India. It's... The dream, it's the drone of in Wow, I really got work on my spelling. Okay, but this plan has been enabled has been initiated since the very beginning of this of this let's play. And you know what? It started to come to fruition. So this was the part where I knew this is the part I knew would be the hardest because every single year, every single five years from now, we are going to be declaring war on Great Britain to steal a piece of our territory. To get closer and closer to that magical deal when I can, you know, eventually eventually be able to say India and form the great and mighty Indians. Oh, and speaking of conquering and all that kind of stuff, um, about my intro of saying glory to Allah, um, I'm going to have to stop saying that now because since we added like a whole entire new region to our mix, it actually offset it all the, uh, Muslim, all the uh, Muslims in my country. And now we are mostly 50 we are mostly Hindus so if any of you guys like my old intro well I'm sorry I'm gonna have to keep it just regular because we kind of got <laughs> we kind of got off placed honestly all the the, the is uh, Islamic people got off place in my country and now the Hindus will it it's sad I know but yeah <sighs> can never can never be happy sometimes but anyways I just wanted to mention that just because if you guys don't hear me ever say it anymore, that's the reason why, is that I can't, it, it wouldn't really be a Paneb Let's Play. It's not, it's not really glory to Allah anymore, it's glory to Paneb. Glory to Paneb, that's better. Just glory to Paneb. Glory to the mighty empire of Paneb. And then maybe glory to just India. Yeah, that works. Just glory to India, glory to Paneb. There, we just came up with a new intro on the spot. Alright, so, yeah, now our economy is bustling with new activity. I apparently have... I've met a lot of the aristocrats, uh, aristocrats like goals and stuff. It makes me feel very happy that I did that. I mean, come on, that's pretty awesome, and yeah. For the next like, so basically for the next five years, I'm gonna keep my head down and start building up my military to stand against the British a little bit more on my terms, because I know I had to use my terrain to like kind of, you know, fight them. I would like for the next time we meet to be able to fight them you know, pretty hardcore. And right now we're introducing new technology to where I should get some siege, actual some siege people, which should be nice. And we are basically, I think for the next five years, we're just going to be basically building up our economy, building up our defenses, building up everything. So right now we need to make sure that we can fight against um, the diplomatic and quite frankly, tough people of, let's see, how's our literacy going up? It's not going up enough. We're going to have to do it a little bit much. But the great and literacy of the great and mighty British Empire. They are going to be killer to beat in the future. Because I think now they'll realize how much of a threat we are. We are. So, we have to watch out for that. So, and we have to also watch out for rebels. Oh, great. I almost forgot that we still have rebels in this day and age. Even with our mighty empire, we still have people who think liberalistic ideas of giving women power and giving and giving the free populace wages what a silly and stupid idea wait 
Yes, what a silly and stupid idea. I just had to make sure we didn't have that enabled yet. Um, they even want to suggest voting. <sighs> what is this world coming to? So, anyways, I'm going to start making up my new army con composition. So, first, let's get this. Alright, so, I'm going to try to start balancing my army to, like, 54 men. So, like, this is not actually a good composition because I have too many... I have too many cannons, so I'm going to actually move one, two cannons over to the other army. Because that would be much quicker. And then I'm going to build this. Because basically what you want... Okay, if you guys want to know army composition, it's pretty simple. You want about half of 50% of your army to be made up of... Of, um, soldiers. You want the, another, like, I'd say, like... 45% of your army to made up, be made up of cannons. Then you want another, you know, 5% to be made up of horsemen and engineers. So basically you need two engi two horsemen per unit and one engineer per unit. Because you don't really need that many engineers. Engineers aren't that important. And that's basically concluding our lecture about composition. And yes, these guys actually needed cannons. Alright, so let's see. We're going to need two engineers actually. Two engineers, yeah, not one, two. Um, we're also going to start replacing all of our horsemen with hussiers. Because... I think we're not going to have tanks in time for the next invasion, so having these guys around will help us a lot. So let's see. We have how many... Yeah, let's check this out before I completely... Let me finish up the battle here. Yeah, oh, my game's going on while I'm doing this army composition thing. That's good. Okay, so three... One. Okay, we're going to have to at least reverse that one. Because that's pretty bad. Maybe we'll make this four and we'll make this two... So let's see, one, so three, three, and then six. So we need six, we need six, so one, two, three, four, five, we need one more, six. Okay, now that we have all this built, we need to also start thinking of armies for this, because we want, let's see, they have enough, they have six of these guys, they'll have two of those guys, one of those guys, actually this is almost built, we just need to make one more cannon for that army. And then that should comprise comprise our new and improved armies of the West. Because now we are completely industrializing and we are rapidly, we are rapidly, I mean seriously people, we are rapidly becoming back into the tops. We are ninth place right now. For a while our money should be pretty bad, but it should bounce up pretty quickly. By the way, do we have any loans that we have to pay off? Because I know we get into debt very quickly. No, we're actually giving out people money that's good we don't want to be the one that's bearing off everyone okay what else do we need to i need to kind of also think about is wait are we actually making money off of this really oh my goodness i feel happy again the world is right because i thought i thought i was gonna have to come in here and be like okay so oh my goodness okay this is actually a big rebellion so you guys go hunt down the rest of these go help our men go help down hunt down the rest of these men yeah hunt down hunt down Okay, go help them, help them to hunt down into things. And if I do sound, by, guys, by the way guys, if I do sound not like my normal self, I'm recording, recording this episode extremely late for me. Like, it's almost like 1 o'clock in the morning for me. Well, maybe that's a little bit understatement. It's closer to like 12, but it's still late enough to where I'm feeling, I'm feeling really fatigued, but eh, not enough to like go to bed. And this honestly is a really good way to like just relax and just kind of like to feel stuff and besides I want to play more of this since we've done so much all right so yeah I was trying to build up my economy and that's something I still cannot you know ignore I still have to keep building up my economy um definitely by far my strongest region is not Koshan because Koshan is a terrible terrible region I'm not sure if it's cement business would survive if I were to just de detach it um but it seems to be doing a lot better so let's try it can it survive by itself? Yes! Oh yeah! Oh yeah, I made a good cement business and there's apparently a crisis going on, I don't really care. Okay, so I can find, kind of do that. Over here, I don't know why you guys aren't doing that well, I mean... Um... As a fabric factory, possible bonus from, from having a fabric factory in... Well yeah, I don't have a fabric factory here because it just kind of just seems kind of stupid because we have no fabric factory stuff but the good thing is though is that now since we have a colony well it technically is India but we it's, it's a colony sadly we have our own dye deposits which how much is it that's actually a pretty good amount yeah that's a pretty good amount of dye comparatively to the rest of India 
So, we could actually start building a dye industry here, which means, well not a dye industry, an actual like, well not furniture, luxurious clothes, I haven't really built them as stuff yet for that. Uh, lumber mill, paper mill, we give our lumber people a little bit more, no, 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 I'm thinking reverse of this. It would give people a little bit more stuff, but I don't think so. Well, I'm going to build a winery in our main place. <laughs> I kind of got weird because we actually do need a winery. And since um, Baruchan isn't making anything, I'm going to find something for, for it to make. Because we need to find something for each region to make so that it can start like making craftsmen so we don't have to keep doing it all the time. So let's see, what are you guys naturally good at? Oh, great. This is one of those regions where it's absolutely good at nothing. Okay, so let me just... Yeah, you guys are going to be some... Oh, dang it. I don't have enough money. Okay. Yeah, none of this would be a really good idea because we don't have a high priority of this. Uh, we could try... Let's see. How much are we producing in terms of production? 7.3. That's actually not bad. And then, oh my goodness, that has a lot of cotton. Wait, how much is sold domestically? Sold exportingly, sold domestic. Actually, we're using most of our export actual bot supply. Let's see. Actual bot supply. Mm. I don't know. That doesn't seem like a very good buy. But I think I'm going to, once I have enough money, I'm going to make them build my machine parts. That way I have some, a somewhat interdependence on not having informed goods. Plus that make us look cool so we have, we can start not, yeah, we can stop importing stuff. Alright, there we go. We can break now. We Now we can just watch our men just slowly and surely kill all the rebels. All those puny little ultra liberal people who think that the liberalist ideas are going to be represented very well. Probably not. And should I sign a G? And another question people might have is why am I not signing the Geneva Convention? Because. Because. It would not actually help me in this let's play because it would actually hinder me. And apparently in Prestige we are so close to being number one. That is awesome. And with our new army being made. That's our engineer. I'm just going to keep him over here. I'm going to wait until they finish off the rest of these guys. Move them back in their places. And then we can start discussing things. Because I don't think I... I think I will total need about... I want to have at least four gigantic armies in Peneb. That's my goal. Is that four gigantic armies in Peneb. Where one is... Yeah, you guys all meet up here. All meet up here. Yeah, we'll deal with this later. But I want to have four gigantic armies in Peneb where... Okay, international crisis. Hopefully it's not for us. Please tell me it's not us. It's not us. Thank goodness. I'm glad you guys are becoming more multicultural and assimilating into us. Because I really... And if you guys don't know what I mean, I mean all the people in here that have been used to be complaining about us. which really annoyed me. But... Let's see... Romanticism. No, we don't need romanticism. We actually need to start working on our mines a little bit and start getting early railroads. Because actually, we need at least one railroad production so we can start making a little bit better railroad lines. Which could inevitably help us a lot out. Because if you haven't seen, we really don't have connections between this line and that line. That's been like the invisible line for years. It's just been like that random railroad line that we have in the middle of our country. It doesn't really do anything, but it's nice to see, I guess? I don't know. And wait, wait, wait. To make sure that I don't have any, like, cultural... No, we already, we already leveled down all the analytical philosophy. I don't really need, need to be focusing on national national stuff because da, 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 we don't need it yet. Okay, upper house arranged. Conservatives are actually winning. What? How did that work? I was not supporting the conservatives, but somehow we're winning. Okay. That's weird, but I guess I'll accept it. Okay, so let's see. I need a machine parts factory that will become somewhat unindependent on the fact that we can't build machine parts and having a machine parts factory at least one will affect us greatly okay over here in Peneb Western Afghanistan we're starting to gain actually a decent population from here like it seems to be lacking from our storage of iron I'm guessing that's going to become a problem in the future can't really do much about it though because yeah Okay, you guys just sit right here. You guys can just stay right there. Alright. So let's see. You guys, what do you guys need? 
Okay, well you don't we don't need this guy anymore and let's see, so you delete this guy. Okay. You what did you guys need? You need two of these. Okay, I get it. I get the Gami comes mission. You need two of these, one of these, and one of those. So there we go. Do 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 horsemen. And voila! A fully functional army. Yep, fully functional army. Okay, and then the rest are going towards the rest are going towards our other army over here. And that should make a fully like I said, a fully functional army. I might need one more actually I might need one more like infantry. Or infantry unit. Actually, yeah, I should probably get that in the maid. Because one more infantry unit would really help us. So let's get that made. Seems like people are starting to pay attention to us. I don't really care. <laughs> Whatever. Military access doesn't really matter, okay? Keep getting relationships with Russia, though. That's something I need. We're almost completely at 100%. I'm hoping they don't spear us. Because that would actually stink. That would actually hinder... No. Okay, our economy just went down. That may mean we're getting sphered. No. It seems like everyone's going after us right now. In terms of sphered. So I don't think we're ever going to be sphered again. That's good. Apparently our economy went down by a lot. I don't know what's hindering us. Hopefully it'll recover. Please. For me, recover. Please don't make me, uh, you're gonna make me have to raise taxes, aren't you? Alright. Let's see. I don't... Whoa, how'd we get that less in money? Yeah, that's a lot of, that's a lot of no money. I think, why are we, let's see, why are we producing so much? Is it something because of something quick? Let's see, we're mainly losing money because of military expenses. Okay, then that should go away by, in a couple turns, honestly. That's not going to be something that hinders us forever. And right now I'm testing to see if it would actually help us to put it at administration efficiency at full 100%. Doesn't really seem to be helping us actually. It seems to be hindering us. And yeah, it doesn't really seem to be helping us. So yeah, keeping this at 10% is definitely what we want to be. It's the best. Doesn't really have to do anything. And there, um, I'm not really having capitalists build my country. Could I switch over to that government? I could, but I feel like they wouldn't build my country, right? So, not yet. I'm not going to be going over to the there yet. We need to be fixing our economy's little problems. I don't want to be tariffing, though. Definitely don't want to be tariffing. Okay. Actually, what am I doing? Just get this back to 50. Get this back to 55. It's actually just... Why don't I just lower some of my other stuff? 55. Yeah, let's just lower because this is a lot of money. We can spend honestly about I want to be at least at 30. So about 60% of our military will be funded for most of the year. That's not bad. That's seriously not bad compared to has how it has been in the past. Okay. So you know we can win. We can manage that. And let's see what else do we need to do. Well, once we build that last secret police to the rescue, ignore them. Why not? I don't really have any big difference or really big indifference towards them. So, it doesn't really matter. So, what we have to start doing is start protecting... Okay, finally. Alright, let's see. So, where can we actually build our new factories? Still not... Ah, we still can't unite all of our land. That stinks. Alright, well, I'm going to click right here. Wait, that's not what I wanted. Ah, uh, shoot. I spent all my money on that. That's not what I wanted. Uh, okay, then encumbrance. Administration efficiency, do we need... I keep debating it. Do we need it? No. It's not needed. Like, it's not something that's crucial to our life and death experience. Uh, we just need to be making sure that we keep building up army tech. Army tech is something we definitely need to keep getting out there. Education. Education is going much better now. Now that we have a good fortresses going. And, yeah, I really wish I hadn't done that. Uh, stupid. Okay, let's move these guys down here. And this army composition should be good enough to the point where it should not fail me. Okay, there's the last, like, hus here I was building. Now I got... I'm almost... I'm almost a great power in terms of militaristic might, which is really awesome. Because I am not... Definitely Peneb now is definitely a force to be reckoned with. With our new militaristic efforts of westernization, we are not to be... We are definitely not a people to be messed with. Alright, let me combine all you guys... Alright, that should be everyone, so let's see, let's take all these horsemen out, 
And anyone else we need to take out? No. Okay. Take out these guys from the army. Dispose of them. Okay. And here is our actual army. Completely deplot comprised of actual good troops. Did I not put in No, I just built three engineers for some reason. I think I have a reason for that, but I don't remember anymore. So, this is our army, everyone. Fear its might. And apparently we're not building it right here. Oh, we're getting the canned goods? Hmm. Thought we could get our canned goods locally. Hmm. I have to check up on that. Well, the canned goods industry has been doing pretty good. Because it's been having lots of new customers due to me. And how's our... Nope. <laughs> our economy cannot be supported without... Without lots and lots of help. And... Apparently, do we have capitalists in our country? I didn't think we did. Let's see. Yeah, we still don't have any capitalists in our country. That's what I thought. I was like, wait a minute. Why are they building stuff when I don't think we have any in our country? Hmm. Yeah, that weirds me out. That, that kind of makes me feel weird for some reason. Alright, the beliefs must... Wait, why do I always do that? Hmm. I didn't have to do that this time because I'm not really playing a very open-minded game. I'm playing a very calm game, I should say. Alright, so let's see. Can we upgrade any of these? No, it seems like these are all... Let's see, let's just shift-click this. This is what I wanted to do. See, how much did that do? Not very much. Okay, so I'm still going to have to wait until I can actually build stuff. People are building stuff for... Well, not really building stuff for me. We're still building our winery. And Bouchon's starting to get into the festivities. Uh, probably going to have to make this... Uh, Pen Abuai Paneb, the main region that has almost everything I need. Because it's going to have to be souped up. Okay, let's get some of these basic railroads built. The UK wants an alliance or, or not an alliance. They want military access. No. Definitely no. They definitely won't know anything about me. Because I still have, let's see, how many years do I have left before I have to... Hmm, let's see. I have until 1882. So basically, people, until 1882, I will do. This is basically what I'm gonna have to do: is just kind of sit here, gain technologies, and just keep like improving my country. And apparently, conservatism, conservatism is still winning, and liberalism is actually losing in my country. That usually never happens, and I mean usually never happens. I mean I've seen very, very few times when liberalism is actually repulsed by a country. I love my, that's the only thing I gotta say is I love my country then. Uh, you guys make me feel so proud that you guys are imperialistic and jinduistic as I am. Thank you guys. Thank you. Oh man, I feel like I've been speaking like really, really fast this entire episode. And not really been explaining myself too well, but eh. Some episodes that happens and in other episodes it doesn't. We'll see. Hopefully it won't happen in the future, but right now... I'll try to speak a little bit slower and be maybe a little bit more clear. Cause I'm not sure. Cause I'm not. Last episode we had, yeah, a couple of episodes ago we had a little bit of weird things happening where like no audio was recorded. Uh, this would be like this was like something where I was recording with Project Zomboid, but there was like no audio record for some reason, and I was like, what the heck? So I'm hoping that won't happen here. Otherwise, I may just have to do a fast forward and just show you guys what happened. All right. So let's see. We're gonna build our new army over here. So let's see, we want to try to build it in Lahore. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of these guys. One, two, three, four, five. Five of those guys. One of these guys. Okay, and we need two of these guys. There we go. Unit composition. And that should be the next army that's going to be built up. I'm going to have these two armies over here protecting my new and improved India land. And yeah, we're just building our new army. And let's see, over here in Encouraged Soldiers, okay, we don't really need you guys to be Encouraged Soldiers anymore. Um, what would be actually kind of cool is if we could by chance, maybe, maybe possibly, Encourage Bureaucrats here, maybe possibly make this an actual call, actual state, maybe? Could that actually be possible? non core province and state. I'm guessing not. Like, I'm guessing I'm never going to be able to turn this into a... Well, actually, there's a decent amount of people that live in this place. So maybe, just maybe, I might actually be able to... Wait, how much is that? 300k... Mm, 
Wait a minute, what? Holy shoot, when did we get this many people of me in here? Yeah, we should... No, this actually... I think we could actually convert this into an actual... Oh, great. Afghan nationalist. What are you guys doing? Seriously? What are you guys doing? You guys just make this just harder on me. Uh, you know, having you guys enslaved is like terrible. Like, seriously, terrible. Uh, but yeah, we could possibly, possibly turn this into a colony. I mean, it's not going to be one of our biggest, 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 biggest concerns. But having this as a potential, like, actual place I can actually build stuff up would definitely help me out a lot. Um, how likely is it? I don't know. Because, I mean, we do have a couple places here where, well, like, over here, it's just all, it's just all this. But let's see, let's see population-wise. Let's go to the region of United Provinces. Well, actually, we're still a very small amount of people in the total amount of... And so, comparatively, we are very small, but we are still a presence here, which means we might be able to turn that into an actual colony, or an actual place. Hmm. I'm going to test this out. I'm not sure how this is going to work, but let's just do this. Let's just do... I still want about 50%. 50%. Uh, we need to keep that going. We need to go about 50% right here. Explosives! I like the explosives part. Okay, no, that's not really helping me out. About, right about there, 30%. Um, we can turn down education. I just want to see... I just want to see how much we'd be making. Like, could it be possible this could actually be turned into a... Hmm. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it's even making a dent into it. So yeah, that would not, no, it's not actually possible. So let's get back to full taxation, full taxation. We want you guys to be about 60, you guys go back to about 10. Yeah, it doesn't seem like, it doesn't seem like it is possible, people. We won't be able to turn this into our own personal colony yet. Or our own actual state just yet. I'm going to have to wait for the event to form India to do that. And, <clears throat> man, that iron deposit thing is really starting to kill us now. Um... Hmm. Let's see, what... Why are you guys having difficulty? Hmm. I do have a factory right next to it, if that counts. But, yeah, we're having some difficulty. I did have a wine... I did have glass, and I did not build a glass factory. Oh, shoot. Okay, where did I build the cement factory? Over here, build... Dang it! Yeah, it has enough people now. Now I can actually build a glass factory, too. Gonna have to wait a second, though. My money's kind of... Yeah, it's a little bit unstable. Maybe... And we can actually give this down to 50%. 50%. I mean, I'm guessing the reason why I'm having so much trouble is because of the canned food and all that kind of industry. Ah, oh, man. Don't know how this always happens. Okay, just have to wait for the money. I just have to wait for the money. That's all it is, people. Just have to wait for the money. And you guys, get, please get out of that region. Because these regions stink when it comes to... Uh, to uh, the accessibility with supplies. Yeah, please get out of those regions. They'll just kill you. Like, legitly, those regions are like death traps. All rolled up into one. And apparently, we keep going up in terms of score. We are now 18th in terms of industrial... Oh my goodness, really? Are you taking me on by yourself? Oh, Persia, you really are just an idiot. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, so for next guy so for next episode guys, we're gonna be teaching the ep we're gonna be teaching these Persians. For one, they only won last time because I had problems. This time I'm gonna teach them that they that they should not have done that. So thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys next episode.